good evening ladies and gentlemen i feel quite privileged to be standing here in front of you most of whom are the energy scientists technologists and energy professional i am none of them i am a humble dairy man mentored by dr kurian for last 37 years i have been working with my cows and buffaloes to improve nut their nutrition and in turn the nutrition of the nation some of you might not be knowing that every morning the milk which you drink as amul the one third of it comes from my plants so i am your dairy man i i thank the organizers for thinking of me who could be invited for talking on <coughs> energy especially the green energy i represent millions of small milk producers and their bovines which make india as the largest milk producers of the world at 220 million metric ton annually adding approximately 1 million lakh crore 1 million crores of gdp so we are very important ladies and gentlemen thinking of my days as a young scientist i was excited by quantum mechanics and especially the pivotal principles of established uh, pivotal principles of established by the great dr albert einstein and dr heisenberg i used to think i know that's the two principles some of you science fellows would know e is equal to mc square very very famous of it and e is equal to h nu so i always thought that there must be a some way of converting all matter into energy and however in my spiritual journey i realized that all cosmic play of the universe is actually life or non life is energy and that there are positive energy and negative energy good energy and bad energy one of the dream which i had in the college was that i will have a nuclear car i'll put a small rod of thorium and plutonium into a um, tabletop reactor and it will run for years together so i'll be most happier i my dream has not gone away some I mean not maybe in my lifetime but maybe some day it may come true i don't see that it will not come true it will definitely come true i anyway that's not the point i am going to for brevity of time i'm going to skip some of the data i'll tell you a story what happened is one of my energy dividend division guy i asked i'm going to speak at an energy seminar will you please give me some points and you know he gave me the chat gpt uh, chat gpt speech and i had also chat gpt so he got i he got caught so i'm not going to give you more data uh yeah where are we carbon footprint of conventional fuel but anyway let me i i'll introduce my my standing as amul uh let me come down to platform and talk about what we have been doing at banas dairy banas dairy is a major stakeholder uh, of uh, amul brand we have one third of all production of amul amul is uh, one third of all production comes from banas dairy we shall be closing this current financial year at 2.25 billion dollars and we collect about 8.5 million liters of uh, milk per day from 1500 villages of 400000 farmers farm families we shall pay them about 15000 crores as annual farm get prices and which comes to about 83.5% of our market return which is the highest in anywhere in the world nobody pays to the farm, uh, milk producers this kind of prices and we also run 24 by 7 we run 10, 24 by 7 veterinary services for my farmers so uh, i'm going to skip some of the some of the speech can we go to ha uh, that's very anyway this is what i wanted to tell you that what we are nowadays talking is uh, the electric car but you see electric car is also not so holy cow there is so much to it that goes into producing the electric car and then lithium and uh, the battery battery manufacturing factory the mining of the cobalt and lithium has a story all of you might be knowing but then i come down to my experiment i am a practitioner so i do experiment next yeah this is what the experiment is your internal combustion pardon which one is your ice number both are electric No, these are not both the electrics. This is, um, uh, CO2 emission, uh, seven uh, metric ton the for red, the. Red one is ice or red one is electric. Red one is electric. Okay, blue yeah. one is ice. Yeah, that's right. But उसको भी हमने charge दिखाया इसलिए that's. नहीं नहीं वो जरा picture में. 
So, so I come to my my experiment. Why you were telling radio one is electric? Okay, okay. So. Okay, okay. Okay, but I come down to my the bi biogas plant. Okay. We are running a biogas plant of 2,000 cubic meter for last uh, uh, last last two years successfully. We produced about 600 kg of methane every day, and we supply it to the uh, our. Uh, we are on the road, so we supply it to the vehicle. Uh, so our community-based biogas plant is a great example of environmentally sustainable energy. In this plant, we are collecting dung from nearby. There is a flow chart. Can you go to the next? Yeah. Dung collection, villages, and processing into biosynergy. This is creating a sustainable source of income. We are paying right now one rupees kg uh, bio gober to the farmer. So every cow gives him 15 kg of gober, and if there are 10 cows, he gets 150 rupees every day. This boosts his income. This, this whole started when Mr. Prime Minister was with us, and he says, why don't you do the gober? So I didn't know anything. I just uh, explored it and started it, and now we are into in a big way. So income for the local community. In Banaskara, uh, where there are approximately 30 lakh uh, registered cattle with Pashu Adhar, that is a tag, tag which we put on the ears. The dung produced can be uh, generate over 4 crore kg of dung per day and which will be producing about 613 tons of bio CNG per day. That could be a methane production. Th this shall be enough for, to drive 1.5 crore kilometers a day and enough for everybody to go around. I think uh, from biogas plant, organic fertilizer is produced and such as prom, phosphate rich organic manure, which indeed offers a number of advantages compared to traditional chemical fertilizers. Using prom fertilizer instead of DAP could potentially result into saving of the government's uh, saving, saving for the government in terms of subsidies and foreign exchange, uh, both. Like it has the potential to save 20.78 20 20 crore rupees per day if the whole district uses uh, uh, bio, bio fertilizer, which is prom. Uh, additionally, using bio Based fertilizer can also help in promote sustainable agriculture as it reduces dependence on non-renewable resources and helps to conserve soil health and fertility. This can lead to a long-term benefit of farmers and the environment both. In fact, the symbiotic relationship between cows and uh, human beings is 10,000 year old. And uh, Krishna, nobody other than Krishna taught us the best way how we can live together uh, symbiotically. Uh, uh, but then one thing we must remember, realize that we do not have, a, homo sapiens do not have a privileged right on this earth. So we have to be careful with the way do we behave with all other creatures and organism, organisms in this species which we live with. Uh, however, biogas technology is not in its full potential and there is still room for improvement. We can improve the efficiency of dig digesters and increase the methane concentration to make the digestion process faster and more efficient. We are developing, we also do R&D, so we are developing microorganism-based cultures which can enhance the gas production by 10 to 15 <coughs> percent. We can also make available the extra green organic manure which can support the Indian organic uh, revolution which is also the part of the National Green Mission to provide safe food, not only for India, for, uh, but for also the world. We have one vertical called Amul Organics, and the government of India has now established a federal cooperative for only for uh, uh, agriculture exports. And we are, part, we are major sponsor of that federal cooperative. We are all, uh, uh, next, no, no, you say, age wala, pehle wala, ha. This is, this is what is very important. We are on our way, to build a pilot methane splitting plant, which will be converting into green hydrogen and solid carbon. And this is, uh, this is a very important thing because it does not release the uh, gas carbon dioxide. It converts uh, the carbon into solid carbon. And solid carbon has a commercial market. And if it is not there, what I plan to do, I want to charge it and activate that carbon and send back to the soil so that sequestration can happen and I can have more carbon credits on it. 
So that's uh, an experiment which we are doing. Uh, no. This is this is a small pilot plant. I, I I don't have that information, but there is a there is a pilot plant which we are putting up. <coughs> it is a cost of fertilizer, at least cost and availability. Kind of availability. Yeah, but this is a this is a pilot. just a pilot. Okay. Just a, we also planning. You know, when we are there, uh, we are one of the areas uh, in the little run of Kutch, and we have the highest, uh, almost the optimum irradiation of the solar energy in our place. So we are planning a 500 megawatt uh, solar uh, system. And uh, what we are planning to do is, we have about 35 est establishment across the country. So we will wield the power to all the, our system, because there would be a national grid now. National wheeling would be possible. So we'll wield the power to all our establishments. So we'll be about 250 megawatt captive consumption for myself. And maybe in a second phase, we have 250 megawatt, which will be available to other industries. We are working with Maruti Suzuki. There, there was some gentleman was sitting here. So they have agreed to take our uh, solar energy to their plants also. We are planning to put 46 more biogas plants of 5,000 cubic meter each, which will produce about 2,000 uh, kg of methane every plant every day. And the cluster-based uh, community system. Uh, we, we are together uh, with Maruti Suzuki. So uh, the government of India's Govardhan, um, uh, Govardhan uh, scheme, which has allocated about 10,000 crores rupees you know, on uh, processing of bio uh, energy, I think we will take uh, some of the uh, funds from there, and we plan to do this. Uh, I simply invite some of you to visit us and share your knowledge and be our part partners in saving the planet from the catastrophe of using fossil fuel and so-called bad negative energies. So this is something which we want to do. Thank you.